Welcome to Headshot Pro 2023 Tutorials. This tutorial was created in two parts. Part 1 shows how to use Headshot Pro with the new Genesis 9 figure. This figure is groundbreaking, but creates many differences on loading and using Gen 9. Unlike previous Genesis figures, Gen 9 is a uni character, so the first task is to set the uni character as male or female using parameters actor setup. Move slider to 100 on masculine body. Also move slider on masculine head. You can also add male texture from the object library. Now we are ready to launch Headshot Pro from the edit menu. In the dialog, select Head for Surface and Chin for Shape. Click Accept. Headshot plugin will launch. Before every new task, a Teach panel will pop up to guide you through the next step. You can disable these panels by clicking on the bottom left side button. The setup screen offers you a choice between Love Child, where you blend two photos, or a single photo. We will choose single photo for now. Notice that Headshop will auto detect 40 landmark points as well as the gender of the photo. Make sure you choose Genesis 9 button. Once you click OK, you will be on the work screen of Headshop. It has five tabs. We start with the first tab called Front. In the Front tab, you have an option to use a smooth slider to smooth the 3D head. The nav cross lets you change views. Zero aligns the head with the photo. Not all photos are evenly lit, so the mirror button allows mirroring the better half over to the shaded part. You probably won't use auto dots. It is used to correct mistakes the auto landmark system may miss. You can easily restore your 3D head by clicking the smooth slider. Move, moving to the second tab, Auto Sculpt, you can open and explore 10 libraries of shapes for nose, lips, chin, creases, celebrities, etc. Switching the view to black and white makes it easier to see shape changes. We caution not to use many morphs as it accumulates and distorts the shape. There will be plenty of opportunity to add shapes in Daz Studio via Morph Loader Pro. The next two tabs, Style and Accessories, are used for 3D printing. We will discuss this in part two. The last tab, Color tab, can be used to retouch the texture via color picker and brush. Export closes Headshot plugin and transfers the new shape and new texture to Genesis 9. One of the many differences between Gen 9 and previous Gen figures 
is that in Genesis 9, eyes and teeth are independent actors and need to be turned back manually. Eyes may not fit. One way to fix this with Genesis 9 selected in the scene is in parameters morphs by decreasing the FS morph from 70 to 40. Now we come to the fun part. By using Edit Morph Loader Pro, you can load many morphs to use. Navigate to DAS 3D Headshot plugin Models Morphing Genesis 9 Mail and load as many morphs as you like. Now you are ready to add topo to your model via the sliders. Again, it's a good idea to switch to black and white display to better see the morph results. You'll notice that more morphs can create distortions. One trick is to add some negative morphs to balance the result. Part 2. Create 3D Printed Busts Skip this part if you don't 3D print. For our 3D print project, we build a female Gen 9 figure as shown in Part 1. Start Headshop. This time we choose a photo of a woman. This time, we choose a photo of a woman with an open smile. Click on the Style tab. The Style Library contains dozens of mesh hairs developed specifically for 3D printing. Choose and drag over a 3D hair to the right screen. Using the nav cross, drag the hair into the right position. Click on the Accessories tab and choose a bust. Again, with the help of Navcross, position the bust. The egg shape is a negative space and saves you money and material when printing.
Assigning color pattern to hair and shirt is only needed if you plan to print on a color 3D printer. Back in DAS Studio, with shape and texture applied to Genesis 9, now we have to make everything invisible except head, neck 1 and 2, and eyes and teeth. Time to load the saved hair and accessories objects from user, public documents, my DAS 3D, library, runtime, face shop, FS. Fine-tune the positioning of hair and shirt. When everything is in place, highlight export all elements as OBJ to a new folder. If you don't have your own 3D printer, a good place to order a statue is from shapeways.com. Once loaded, scale your statue in inches. Once rescaled, you can choose the right material to print from. A 4 inch tall sandstone statue is roughly $130. A plastic model starts at $80.